Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 63 of our FTB Ocean Block Let's Play series, where today we are working on more singularities, automating, um, well, more singularities and getting into the soul essence process of mystical agriculture. So, yeah, let's get started. Welcome back to Oil Rig the Andrada, and today we are, well, continuing working on our singularities. Um, I've gone ahead and built out this little platform extending off of our base. It's uh, 15 by 15, so 17 by 17 with the bricks around it. Um, and it's just for automations that we're going to have to set up to get these singularities done, because we're going to have a few different automations that we're going to need to set up. I'm um, going to just want more room to be able to do so without having to put it all into a compact machine or anything like that. So we got a decent little space here to work with. If we need to expand, obviously we can expand. We'll see how we end up with, you know, 15 by 15. Um, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and claim these chunks. Just to make sure that everything is, you know, hunky dory, good to go. And then we're going to pop into our mystical agriculture area here and talk about a few things. So in between episodes, I expanded um, our growth here a little bit and got some more seeds. I basically went through all of the singularities and I was like, OK, blazing capacitors. What does that require? Oh, it requires blazing crystals. Ah, we can get a seed for that. Let's make a seed. Um, cake. What does the cake require? Well, cake requires. Um, well, we already have these technically, but we have eggs, uh, which requires um uh, chicken essence. We have sugar cane, which requires sugar cane, or sugar, which requires sugar cane, which I actually probably should plant a sugar cane. I didn't think about that one. Um, but yeah, basically, that's what I did is I went through all of the singularities and planted the seeds that are required for all these. I was also looking at, let's see, wheat. I, I have a bunch of wheat, but I didn't plant wheat either. I didn't think about it because I only have, I mean, I have 3.4 thousand, but we're going to need a lot of it. So let's just go ahead and do that as well. Um, but yeah, so then I went to like the capacitato. What does that require? Oh, potatoes, uh, lead. So I've got lead seeds, redstone. I got redstone seeds, cured rubber. Um, cured rubber is going to be its own little, little thing that we're going to have to figure out how we're going to set up. I didn't... Um, I guess I could plant dandelions and we could do a bunch of dandelions to rubber. Um, oh, apparently there's rubber essence. I didn't even notice this. Rubber seeds. Oh, well, heck, let's just get, do we have dandelions? I have some. Well, heck, we're going to, we'll work on the rubber essence, the rubber seeds. I didn't even notice that there were rubber seeds. I didn't happen to scroll pages there. Um, so we're going to put rubber sheet seeds there. Um, but yeah, basically, that's what I did. I went through and planted all the things. Crystal shard seeds were are made with the crystal shards from the end. So I went out there and found some of those Aurora crystals. If you remember those pretty looking crystals that spawn, if you break those, you get the crystal shards and you can make the seeds with those. Um, we have gold seeds, copper, lead, electrotein, emerald emerald seeds are you doing the thing emerald seeds oh, it just was showing fully grown uh nether quartz let's see what else do we have silicon mana steel iron steel quartz enriched mystical flower ender pearls obsidian dye refined obsidian nickel um, I'm just going off showing you all these. So if you're following along, you know what seeds I planted. Uh, we have redstone, draconium, fluorite, uranium, chicken, awakened draconium. And I have my chicken seeds accelerated um, because we ran out of feathers for our singularities, for our um, angel core singularities. We weren't able to produce anymore. So I, I got some feathers. Um, we have a blank one, wood, ice, netherite, blazing crystal, inferium, fire, water, stone, dirt, Earth, nature, sulfur, coal, and nether. <clears throat> All sound good. Um, curious, real quick though, our crates have stopped producing. What is going on with the crates? It's just it's just a slow process. I mean, okay, I say the slates have stopped producing. If we look at our singularities, we have three of the basic crate singularities, which means we've made almost 5,000 crates. So I guess it's not... You know, it hasn't slowed down drastically. We're about to get another angel wand core crate. And we're about to actually get another crate um, singularity. So, yeah, OK, I guess it's not slowed down in the sense that, you know, it's the end of the world. It's just it's not the fastest thing in the world to create. Um, could we make it faster? Yes. Instead of using refined storage to do the craft, we could pump everything into. Um, actually, I'm going to need to access this one. 
Uh, we could pump everything into refined storage crafters, and then the crafters could probably do everything even faster. But we'll see if we where we end up with all this. Uh, I'm not afraid of AFKing for hours. I can just let the game run as things render and upload, so it's not a big deal. Anyway, um, so next on our list is the Blazing Capacitors Singularity. So let's go ahead and work on getting that done. Now, we do have Blazing Essence, which is uh, actually very convenient. And I did teach power, uh, uh, quite a few power things in between episodes because I was looking at getting the player simulator set up um, in our automation for our uh, thing. Um, but for our uh, to double the speed of all of our guys in there, you know, the uh, essences. But our... Acceleration wands require gas tiers, and you know if I require try and request this, I only have eight gas tiers available in the system, so we're gonna have to set up some gas essence. We need to start working on getting into the soul jars, um, and we will once we hit something that we can't actually automate, like cake. So actually, probably this episode we'll start working on getting the soul jars done because I can't do the cake without the milk. Got it? Okay. Blazing capacitors. What are we gonna need for this? Uh, we need to go into this system. Blazing capacitors require all of this stuff. We don't know how to make um, blazing crystals, but we do now. And then we don't know how to make blazing capacitors large, but I did teach the system how to make the basic capacitors because again, I taught it how to make those ender cells, um, or I'm sorry, the energy cells. Uh, and I requested 40 of those. So bam, we have all the energy cells ready to go for when we want to automate all the things or tick accelerate all the things really. Um, so yeah, this is blazing capacitors. So we can go ahead and get these dropped off. And we should now be able to get a crafting card, which I made a bunch of in between episodes. Uh, crafting card, or maybe it was even last episode. I can't even remember. Speed upgrade and stack upgrade. <clears throat> there we go. So then we can just pop over here to our third singularity. We're going to do crafting, stack, and then our speeds. And then you are going to do blazing capacitors. Bam. Export those. So it should start requesting the craft. Look, there we go. 64 of them already available in the system. They have nowhere to go, though, because we need to get a catalyst. Let me just request 30 of these so they're just ready to go. It's going to require a bunch of emeralds, but that's okay. We're going to need to use them anyway, you know? Um, and then if I put this in there, bam, we start getting all of this stuff going. And this is just going to request, and this one should fill up quick because, well, until at least until we run out of essence, um, it should go pretty quick. So then that takes care of the blazing singularities. Bam, we're almost there. We got three down, 27 more to go. This isn't that hard, right? Um, which one's going to be the hardest? I was looking through. Uh, sea pickle is going to be easy. We could even honestly... We can honestly set up some of these. Let's go ahead and uh, let's let's pop down here. Let's set up some of these singularities that are the easy ones. A sea pickle singularity, that's super simple. It's just sea pickles inside of this and we're growing the sea pickles. Um, so let's get the crafting upgrades. Let's get the stack speeds and the catalyst, right? Okay, so you are going to export um, sea pickles. Uh, you don't need to craft these because they're they're being produced in the uh, we have a botany pot for these. So sea pickles are going to go in there and bam. Now sea pickles are going to go and we'll get the sea pickle singularity. Good. Done. Uh, sawdust singularity. We're producing sawdust, uh, though we do have to do a quick craft for the sawdust because it's a block. Sawdust block is this. And what we're going to do, actually, is teach the system how to make sawdust. How do you make sawdust? Well, it's back in our sawmill with our logs. So we're just going to do the same exact recipe as we did before. Oak log comes to stripped oak logs. But we're going to get rid of the oak log part. And we're going to say, um, is it only a 25% chance? Is that what that means? It's only a 25% chance to actually get sawdust out of this? Or is it 25% chance for extra? Let's grab a, look, we've already burnt through a bunch of sea pickles. Um, let's get some logs. Like I just wanna put one log in here, what happens? Uh, except for the fact that this craft is being requested. 
yeah, it's only a 25% chance to actually get the sawdust. Okay, I need a guaranteed sawdust recipe. Recipe, pulverizer, pulverizer with any kind of log. Okay, and that's gonna get us eight. That's actually a better recipe anyway. So let's do that. Okay, so any log is gonna get us eight sawdust. And you're gonna go into our pulverizer here. Now you're not gonna be the fastest in the world, unfortunately. Oh, and you don't have a crafter set up because you're just set to export stuff. Hmm. Um, could, should we do this? And then export oak logs. Bam. And then it'll start crushing the oak logs and producing a bunch of sawdust. But let's do a reg, regulator upgrade. So it only keeps 64 in at a time. We're not going to be getting all these clusters and stuff anymore, so I'm not too concerned about that part. Um, but I only want to keep 64 of these in there. And the sulfur you can keep as much as you want. Like, yeah. But only keep 64 of the wood in there. Okay. So then it's going to produce the sawdust uh, and... How do we have this coming back in an importer with stack upgrades? Bam, that should pull all that. There we go, sawdust is going back in the system and now we can produce sawdust so we can go ahead and teach the saw sawdust singularity. Catalyst, sawdust, uh, no, and it's the blocks of sawdust. Crafting, stack, speed. And having it be blocks of sawdust is kind of annoying because it's going to go from those other ones and then it's, it's got to take nine of those other sawdust and then craft them into this. So it's basically one and a eighth log equals this, but it's okay. All right, so that was the sawdust singularity. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, a lot of these I could just easily automate because I have the seeds going for them. Dimensional shards is going to be a pain. Um, but dimensional shards, the only way to get these is to craft them, and this is the recipe. Um, and I have seeds for pretty much all of this. Is there glowstone seeds? There are. We need to get those. Prismarine shard seeds? There is. We need to get that. Um, and then glass we have automated. So we'll work on getting this one going, but that's that's a lot of stuff for one dimensional shard, and then you need 1,500 each. That's It's a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, what were we, we were working on getting the soul jars. We need to get those going because we need them for quite a few other things. So soul jars. Soul jars are made, they're mystical agriculture item, and they are made with a solium ingot and soul glass. Soul glass is made with soul dust surrounding um, just any kind of glass, and soul dust is made by smelting smooth stone. Okay, smooth soul stone. Smooth soul stone is made by smelting soul stone, and then soul stone is made by smelting soul stone cobble, and then soul stone cobble is made in a tempered glass jar, apparently, with solium dust and any kind of cobblestone with high temperature. Wow, that is a process. Okay, um, so this is where we're at. We need a high temperature jar. High, uh, we need a jar, really. Tempered glass jar. We're going to need blue magma. Make that for me make it because this is going to be automated we're going to need the automator mabobber auto processing module and we do have soul dust right yes we make this now do we is there a uh, easier way to get this stuff no but that's okay all right so this can be set up um i guess we can set this up over here oh i guess i need to light this area up too Feral Flare Lantern. I need to get refined storage over here, and the easiest way for me to do that is going to be to get a um, network receiver and all that stuff. I don't feel like running cables all the way out here and then underwater. So we'll just do something like this. Um, okay, tempered glass jar. So we need to get this automated. So we're going to have the magma block can go ahead and sit here. Jar can go here. We're going to have a chest here. 
And this, I, can this chest act as the input and the output? I think so. And then we can just filter on our um, output. We're going to get the auto processor here. And then what do we need for this? We need solium dust and cobblestone. Solium dust, cobblestone. That's compressed. Uh, cobblestone. You two go in there. And then, you know, to, to be honest, do we need to automate this? Does this actually need to be automated? Solium dust, cobblestone. Why are you not giving me... Oh, because I don't have the... Uh, um, at... I was going to say, yeah, do I need to automate this? I don't think so. Now that I'm thinking about it, this isn't this isn't anything that needs um, a lot of these. We just need to produce enough to get the jars that we're going to need. It's very slow, though. Not anymore. Um, cobblestone? There we go. I think this will be more than enough for any that we're going to have going forward for soul essence. Bam, we'll take all this back. Okay, we can leave this here for further automations in the future because there's going to be stuff that we're going to need, but I didn't need it for this whole setup. Um, okay, so then we take this soul stone cobblestone and we turn it into soul stone by smelting it. So we're going to grab a crafting card for there. Um, or I'm sorry, a uh, pattern. And then we're going to smelt that into smooth soul stone. And yes, it's going to be mentioned in the comments. Guarantee it that I don't have to click on the energized smelter and then click the move items. It's just a it's a habit that I have. I just want to make sure that I have the right machine, the right recipe and everything. So, yes, I could do it here. The processing is just this turns to this. It doesn't care what machine it's in. For my sake, I want to do this just to make sure that I'm doing it properly. OK. Just pointing that out. Uh, and then soul dust is again, smooth soul stone into soul dust. And there we go for the soul dust portion of things. Bam. So we can take all those off our to-do list. Now for soul glass, that is soul dust surrounding the glass. And then we have solium ingots, which is solium dust surrounding a prosperity ingot. So that is pretty darn good. I think, yeah, we have the solium dust. We just need to teach the prosperity ingot which is this recipe. And then these prosperity shards, uh, these are smelted or gathered from this. So we should have a bunch of those. Yes, okay, cool. And that should, in theory, be everything that we're gonna need for this. Um, let's go ahead and, actually we can do it all from here. So we need our smelter, oh, oh, smelting factory. Yeah, the elite smelting factory. That's you, that's you, you. And then these are all non-processing recipes, right? Correct. So these just go into here. And I realize now I should have grabbed the soul jar recipe as well. So I can just quick craft the soul jars. Uh, and yeah, okay. There's that. And then we can craft the soul jars. So we should be able to get four of these, yes. And then we need to get, there's also a knife, I believe, some kind of blade, solium dagger, that's creative. Um, grants additional souls from peaceful, grants additional souls from hostile. So if I craft this, how do I get those other m upgrades? It'll just make it faster. So you, no, oh, you gotta get zombies. Yeah, okay, forget it. All right, so we have a solium dagger and we have our soul jars, maybe, some point. Just waiting for the smelting to take place. Bam, and bam, 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 bam. Okay, cool. Um, so now we just need to pop into the nether, which I probably should just grab a matter receiver and a, f um, Flux point. I know I had one. Yeah, look, I have a couple for like because this was the chaos receiver. But since I named it, it went in as not. It doesn't say flux point anymore. Um, but if I put these in here, then I can actually take these down and I can recover the space. Not that the paintings aren't cool and all, but they're not needed. Um, 
I don't have any building blocks to be able to center this guy. So let's just do this. I don't have any easy way to do this, do I? Nope. Um, all right, so then I guess we'll just put this here. You are our now our nether receiver. And then you are going to go here. You're going to be the nether. And then we're going to teach you. Okay. And then, bam, we have the nether. So we're going to spawn up one block, but whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so then we have to go and kill our um, ghasts with our solium dagger, which is going to be fun. Um, I have a gas spawner over here. Let's go ahead and get the tick accelerating ready so we can just spawn a bunch of them. I am going to be completely immune to these guys, so that is perfectly fine. But we're just going to get a bunch of these guys out here and start smacking them with the dagger. I need their souls. <laughs> this is intense. <laughs> I mentioned this last time. This is probably extremely loud for you guys. I apologize about that, but it's kind of fun too. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, look. So I just got to run around and kill the ghasts. You do not have to have this in your inventory or on your hotbar. It will find the ghasts or the next emptiest soul jar or whatever you want to say. So. I like how they all like tend to float under the ground too. So look at this giant llama. I can't believe there's still masks that I haven't unlocked. After fighting the Chaos Dragon and all the guardians that it spawned, and since those guardians put on masks, I can't believe there's still masks that I did not unlock from that. I'm here for gas tiers, but I'm kind of sort of not. I'm, I'm more here for this so that I can make my own gas tiers. So, yeah. Luckily, I take no damage. From the lava, at least. Well, from anything, period. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, I need two more. So we're just going to do this again. Create some chaos, but I just need two. I got it. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Goodbye, guys. See you later. Have a great day. Um, and then out of that, we also got 10 gas tiers, so I like that. Uh, mob souls, we can put this rotten flesh away. So we got the four soul jars that we're going to need for the um, gas essence. Yeah, gas essence. Uh, so those are gas seeds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so then the last thing we're going to need is a solium seed base, which is uh, a prosperity seed base with solium dust. So it's not too difficult to make. How many of these prosperity seeds do I have left? Because I used a bunch. Um, Eleven. I had to make some. And so it just I don't I don't have those on auto craft. Could I? Yes. Do I need to? No. Um, and then we need essence. And it's the blue one. Not you. Blue. And bam. Okay, cool. Ah, annoyingly, they don't auto populate into my hotbar because they have NBT data, so they're not counting as the same item, even though they have the exact same stuff in them. And then prosperity seed or solium seed base, my bad. Drop that bad boy in there, and we now have gas essence. And then I need to do the same with cows. So let's turn off our auto auto slaughterator. I just need a bunch of cows, which is actually going to be quite difficult to get, isn't it? Especially since I haven't seen one cow spawn into this thing yet. Uh, go ahead and kill. Do your thing, whatever you got to do. Um, hmm. Cows. Do I have any cows like sitting around our base? I can get a mob duplicator. Or a uh, imprisonment tool. We can duplicate cows pretty easily, but I got to find one. 
all this time, there's been all these animals sitting around our base just bothering me, doing whatever the heck they wanted to. And now all of a sudden that I want a cow, there's nothing around here. What What is going on? What is wrong with this, this scenario here? I need a cow. Horse, llama, horse. There's a cow there, but I'm not going to be able to get him. Oh, I got it. Cow. Haha. -ha. Random clicking. Got a cow. Okay. So then what I can do is just, I can swap this guy out. This is our wither skeleton one. And this is cow. And I can just turn this off. And we can turn the fan off. And then I can pop in here. And we can just kill the cows this way. So I just need four more soul jars. Do any of these like require pig essence or like, I don't think there's any other mob essences that we need. Like you, like, like I said, all these, all the singularities are not terrible to craft. Like it's, it's, it's not hard. It just requires a lot of stuff. Like this is going to require me to set up some kind of a, uh, in the, you know, crafter. I'm going to have to set up a crafter for this, but like, this isn't like terrible. It's just a lot of steps <laughs> and a lot of things. <clears throat> Let's go soul jars. Hurry up. Like, why does this bottleneck so much? I did put you in the smelting factory, right? Yeah. Where is the bottleneck on this? Processing 48. But you're not. It didn't do anything. It's supposed to go into here, correct? Soulstone goes to uh, Soulstone Cobble goes to Soulstone. Soulstone goes to Smooth Soulstone. Yeah, I don't understand. Why was that? It was just so delayed. It has all this. What is going on? Look, there's there's, there's three soul jars. What is what is what is wrong with this? I don't know why this thing's being funky. Is it not? Is it being funky because of the crates? Like, is this taking over? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It should be able to do this on its own. What is what is wrong? There's soulstone cobble. It just needs to go into here. This is set to input to the top. Yes, yes. Like everything looks like it's supposed to be working. There's something funky going on here, though. I don't. It's like it's stuck. It has, because I just made all that soul stone, right? But there's none in our inventory. It's because refined storage is holding on to it. But why? But why is the question. All of our, it looks like all of our crafts have kind of stuck. Anybody know the answer to that? I'm going to, I'm going to reboot the world in between episodes here, but that's just really weird. Um, okay. So soul jar, do I have my other soul jar? No, not yet. Oh, wait, I have the glass, though. Bam. Okay, so now we can just do this, and we can just kill some cows in here. So I can just turn this on. Bam. Give me some cows. Uh, and that was on pulse, so. There are so many cows in here, I can't actually kill any of them because they're just, they keep respawning. I'm just hitting a new one every time. Uh, go ahead and turn back off. Okay. 
Wow, that's a lot of cows. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, look. Oh, and it's eight cows per. Instead of the other one was four. This is eight cow per jar. So I might have to do this again, but you guys get the get the picture get the process of this so what i'll do is finish killing off these cows i'll get the seeds planted so that we can start getting the cow essence which means we can get the milk which means we can start working on automating the cake which means we can start getting more of these singularities processed and like i said i have the essence for a lot of these singularities so it's not it's not that it's terribly difficult oh and i broke some glass it's not terribly difficult to craft the singularities it's just it, it's just time consuming because of that essence factor um, or the actual crafting factor. Really dark ethereal glass, you don't get it back. Okay, go ahead and turn on again. Give me a bunch of cows. Should have counted, but whatever. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'll go ahead and kill these cows, get the seeds going, and uh, yeah, we'll come back next episode and we'll start working on some other things. So if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.